This is a message for all residents of Secret Meadows. William Henry Heichman, murder of three people in our very town, has just escaped custody today. Please take caution and heed warning to this information. Stay in your homes and lock the doors. Do not let anyone in. He is a very dangerous man. May God be with you. In other news, sunny skies expect tomorrow with a high... Do you think it's serious? What, that bullshit on the radio? No, it's nothing. Are you sure? It sounds pretty real to me. The radio companies like to scare people. The guy talking was probably high or something. If it was serious, we would have seen something. Look, no killers to be seen. If you say so. Did I have something to drink? No, you know what it does to you. Oh, not this time, come on. You threw up. Mary, I know you. You don't want to drink that. Watch me. <laughs> What am I gonna do with you? Ugh! Why'd you get the cheap stuff? God damn. Because the expensive stuff is expensive. Why couldn't break off? She's getting ready for some party. Besides, I'm leaving town tomorrow anyway. You know what this feels like? What? You know in horror movies, the victims at the beginning of the horror movie are pretty much put into a situation where they're alone and it's dark. jump scares. Well, it's more like sunset outside, but what's important? Think about it. Two teens, you, me, alone in a deserted park. We're pretty much asking to be killed right now. Fascinating. But we should go. It's getting late and I have to get home. I'll start the car. I mean, I don't blame you with that one, but he's also a fictional character. I'm allowed to fall on the he is very everyone in that show is very attractive we've seen yasmin oh did you hear that he, yeah who is that <laughs>
take these. I found them on sale at the dollar store. <laughs> What's with all the confetti? A, a slumber party awaits. Why not? <laughs> Thanks, Kim. I haven't had enough time to get this kind of stuff. Oh, it's okay. It looks really good already. <laughs> really? You got the colorful ones? It was all they had, all right? <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, my gosh. Glow party pack. Among Us. This was not on the box. It's too quiet in here. I agree. It's under the age of A watch from two to four hours of television every day. Experts from the department. Breaking news. Two teens were found brutally murdered this morning by a local resident of the area. Police believe that the escapee from last night's breakout is to blame. Our hearts sincerely go out to the victim's families. This convict is armed and dangerous, so please stay in your homes and lock your doors. There are no other comments at this time. Kids under the age of A watch from two to four hours of television every day. Experts from the Department of Human Development. Are you okay? That was Sam and Mary. They were in our class hey, tonight. I, I know, I know, I know. It's okay. Who would do something like this? Did, did you watch the news last night? No, why? Well, last night there was a breakout at the city prison and the cops said he was a disturbed man who killed three people when he was a kid. Oh my God. And I guess Mary and Sam were at the wrong place in the wrong time. This is insane. Sam was like a sister to me. She would always protect me from the Bell sisters. Who's gonna protect me now? I will. You know I will. <laughs> and Mary, I'll never have to tell her how I felt. I'm sorry, Kim. I know. We're gonna get through this. I can only imagine what their parents are going through. <laughs> you know what Sam did? Hmm. A couple months ago, back when I was struggling, she saw me and she showed me that I didn't have to be scared and that I'd get through it as long as I had people who care about me. People like you. The killer, they say he had a, a gray hoodie and a messed up mask, right? Yeah. Why? No reason. Do you have any weapons in the house? Yeah. Good. Just to be safe. Yes. Yeah, I'll be home soon. I'm just gonna finish this hike. If I ever do. Uh-huh. Yes, I'll do that. Okay.
Go back to bed. What? Rico! No, no, Bree, no. We just got out of there. We just got away from him. We need to get the hell out of here now. What are we gonna do with that? Then? No, we, we can take my car. We can take my car. I can get them. I can... Bree, no, no, no. Ah. Out of here now, now, okay? Come on, come on. Now, now, we have to get out of here now. Sam and Mary. Yeah, I know. I'm calling the cops. 911, what is your emergency? My name is Bree Connolly. There was a break-in at my house, 4606 Secret Avenue. I think it was the guy who killed Sam and Mary, those teens. He tried to kill us. Where are you at the moment? We're at a park in the neighborhood. Listen, I know this must be scary, but we are doing everything we can. Stay where you are, and we will catch this killer. Can't you go in my house and catch him? Not without a warrant. I'm sorry, but there isn't much I can do except getting you to safety. He's already killed two more people just two miles from your residence. Hold tight. We will be there shortly. Can I, can I say something? Hello? Hello? Hi, my name is, is Cameron Heikman, and I- Sir, did you just say Heikman? Yeah, why? The, the killer. He killed three more victims, and two were discovered as your parents. I'm so sorry. What did you say to him? We'll be at your location shortly. Hang tight. I Bastard broke into my parents' house and killed them. I don't know what to say. Besides, I'm sorry. Don't you pity me. I'm sorry. The cops aren't going to do anything about it, are they? <laughs> they can't without a warrant, apparently. Then we will. We make a pact right now to kill him, to do whatever it takes. I don't know how to fight. What are you talking about? Yes, you do. You saved my life back there. For Mary and for Sam. Are you in? Yeah. hours till the curfew. <laughs> Fucking curfew. I mean, seriously. I mean, he's killed 16 people and this curfew has done jack shit. I don't know. I just know that there's those two vigilantes or whatever trying to get him. Hopefully they succeed because okay. uh, vigilantes my ass. Well, nobody else is doing anything. 
Well, someone could do something. Yeah. You want to do something? Maybe. <laughs> Go against the killer? I mean, you know. Have you ever seen Scream? That's what happened. And what would you do if he came? Uh, I mean, I, it's a sickle, right? I mean, you, you can't throw a sickle that far. <laughs> we could just run. I mean, you were in track in high school, so I mean. I mean. Run. I mean, didn't you... <laughs> Weren't you in state or something for like the 100 meter dash? I mean, once you can run okay. that far, can you? Well, what about you? I'll figure something out. I mean, I've always been athletic. My entire fucking family's athletic. So True. I'll figure something out. <laughs> this isn't real. It's gonna be real. Run, run! It's here. What? What's here? The record. Well, we haven't heard anything in days. I found a contact on the internet. Apparently, this is supposed to tell us everything we need to know about the dread, from how to defeat him, to his, his early life, to everything we need to know. This is supposed to tell us how to kill him. Are you sure this is legit? I sure hope it is. My name is John Matthias Heitman. My son murdered three people when he was 12 years old. His guardian and the police. But he's killed more than three. I me and my lover, we had an affair, and we had a child. We did not want anyone to know, so we cast him out into the snow. We thought he was dead, but after a long time, and after the death of my lover, I went in search to find if he was still alive. If someone had found him, I was right. He was found by an older woman, a widow. I talked with her to see if I could meet him. She refused. I mean, I had 
understand why, but I should have raised him. Maybe I could have saved him from himself. She took him in, raised him like her own. And the next thing I knew, I kept tabs on him and I saw that even at school he would hurt other kids. He even killed one. That's when the rampage began. That's when he went into the tool shed behind the house, a red house. He grabbed the sickle, the rusted thing, and used it. The police captured him that day, but it took 12 officers just to hold him down. He's locked away now. But he will not stop until every single person on this earth is dead. Even though he's locked away, he will not give up. He will escape one day. And when he does, no one is safe. And everyone you love will be gone forever. Don't make the same mistake I did. I should have raised him. But now I know that he's not human. He's a monster. We gotta go. Fuck! <laughs>